Hello, made it. Standing here in front of the RV Atlantis at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. And we're gonna be leaving tomorrow. So I thought while we were here, I'd give you a tour as best I can of the ship. So let's do it. This is the main science lab on the ship. Um, pretty large and there's other ones, but you can see there's some folks working down there. The main goal today is to secure all this stuff on the ship because we're heading out tomorrow. This is the secondary, slightly smaller science lab on the ship. Got some freezers, another fume hood over there. And this was pretty cool, liquid nitrogen. This is the computer lab on the RV Atlantis. And uh, here's Katie, marine technician, who graciously let me use her printer yesterday. This hold is one of the main areas of storage on the Atlantis. And you can see we've also got some exercise equipment in here. So I'm hoping to use this guy over the next couple weeks because the last time I was on a ship for this long, I gained a significant amount of weight. Science birthing. Walking to my berth on the ship. And here we go. It's not bad. I got top bunk there. And as we're on different shifts throughout the day. I'm on the night shift, so we have these nice little drapes that we can use to make a dark spot for ourselves to sleep. Bathroom, shower, little sink area, and then a spot to store all my stuff. All right, so I'm down here in the bottom of the ship trying to find the laundry room, which I think, not in there, is right here, success. This is the galley. All right, sure. Do you down this is Jure. Made the food this morning. Huh? Hey, how's it going, Rob? <laughs> and that's where we ate breakfast. And it is connected to a pretty cool library. Here's my roommate, Mirko, grad student at University of Notre Dame. And uh, I guess they do presentations in here. We'll see. But yeah, they got a lot of great books. Which I hope to read if I don't get seasick. Check this out. It's a movie room. With DVDs for days. Pretty sure that's because the internet's a bit spotty when out in the ocean. But they even have a movie library with a chronicle of their entire set as well as a somewhat random Prince Purple Rain vinyl. Most intimidating room on the ship, the incinerator room, no cardboard allowed. I can't imagine the amount of networking that has to happen on a ship of this nature. This is just one example. Look at that. All cords, electrical cords, ethernet cords, everything. Pretty crazy. Lots of boots and jackets. Nailed it. So here's where we are now, docked at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute on the southern coast of Massachusetts. A couple other vessels here. One is the RV Neil Armstrong, which is right over there. Ship looks quite similar to this one. But uh, looking over here, this is, this is Woods Hole, pretty neat little town. 
and one of the main centers for oceanographic research in the United States. Looking out toward the back of the ship here, lots and lots of equipment, which hopefully I will learn more about over the next couple of weeks. I do know that that's called a rosette or a CTD, and they send that down to the uh, ocean floor and then retrieve it back up to collect a wide variety of data on temperature and conductivity and stuff like that. Here on the stern of the ship is a lot of the larger scale equipment used for research. Those are specifically for coring, and you can see they attach to this yellow device, this crane, on the starboard side of the ship that we'll be using specifically for that. This device here is called a multi-core, and it's for sampling the surface of the seafloor, the part that gets damaged by the larger core I was sh showing you earlier, um, so they can end up piecing them together and getting a complete, a complete record of what's underneath the seafloor. That's all, folks.